Hello and welcome to my. Not sure if it's my second or third Q and A. One of them. Anyway, um, I have been getting a load of questions in, uh, but I can only pick a few. I've been asked uh, loads of weird ones. Uh, oh god. Uh, I don't think I'm going to include a few of them just because a few of them are a tiny bit too inappropriate because as you know with my channel I try not to swear or be too rude with what I say uh, only because I like there's certain people watching this that I don't really want you know to you know, see things and I know my little brothers and his mates watch a few of my videos and if I swear on them I'm screwed literally so I'm sorry if I can't have your question that you have sent in or asked me uh, but as I said I try to make these videos as fun as possible so I really hope you enjoy this Q&A um, so yeah enjoy the video guys and uh, I'll see you in a bit now first question uh, a question that actually I was really pleased with receiving really my favorite song by Adam Young now, I don't know if this means if it comes under any Adam Young project or any song that's actually under just Adam Young or anything like that, but if it's, I'm just going to do like under, I guess, Owl City, I guess, and if I can't have that, I'll do it under another project. I'm sorry if you've sent this question in. It was a comment on my Instagram. Um, it was on my video when I was asking for questions, but if if I've got this wrong, I do apologise. But my favourite Owl City song is Vanilla Twilight, and if you want to know why, it's just because the lyrics really speak to me. And apparently, he wrote about his sweetheart that died, and he hasn't loved anyone properly since. And it just—I don't know—it's just an emotional song for me, I guess. And um, hmm. my other favourite one, if it was to do with a project as well, it would still be Vanilla Twilight, but if it can't be Owl City, I, that's out the picture, uh, it would have to be Base Jumping by Paul Blum, which is a project. But get, then again, that's tied in with Sailboats by Sky Sailing. Both of those songs have, they don't have a particular meaning, I guess. I know Sailboats does, but I personally don't know the meaning to it. It's just, I love the lyrics to Sailboats. And with bass jumping, I don't know, it's just that rhythm that, you know, gets kept going throughout the song. And it's just such a fantastic song. I do recommend it. I might play it in the background. I don't know if I am or not, because I'm still making the video. Like, kind of, no. Um... So, yeah, Vanilla Twilight, Bass Jumping, or Sailboats, one of them. Okay, because I'm not sure how this question goes, but thanks for that question. Next question. Uh, this question. <laughs> if Alice left me for a woman, how would I react? Well, I thought this personally was quite a funny question. Um... If Alice left me for a woman, I would I would be upset, but at the same time it will be a bit, it wouldn't be as horrible as if she left me for another man, because basically I, my self esteem would have been lowered a lot if she left me for another man, because I feel, you know, oh yeah, there are better men out there. If she leaves me for a woman, I could think, you know, well, you know, I've done nothing wrong with myself, have I? Uh, yeah, that's that's a bit of a weird one. I didn't really plan it. I haven't planned answers for these, so. But yeah, so basically, I wouldn't be as heartbroken as it, I would be if it was a man. So. Yeah. Next question, kind of a religious topic now. Actually, this. Um, they said, uh, someone asked me, I know you don't have a religion, but if you had to have one, what would you be? Now, if I personally had to have a religion, I would pick a Buddhist because they just believe in peace and harmony across the whole world. And yeah, they don't pick certain meats to eat, but 
I'm a fussy eater, so probably half of those meats I wouldn't eat anyway. But at the same time, I, I would eat the ones that I like. So I wouldn't be a serious Buddhist. Um, also, I have a miniature Buddha over there somewhere. I can't be bothered to go and get it. But, you know, I just think Bud Buddhism's just awesome. I think I said that right, Buddhism. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't believe in like heaven and hell and stuff like that. Reincarnation sounds more realistic to me. I mean, if a guy died for our sins, why do we still do sins? You know, because Jesus apparently died for our sins. You know, it's just like, if he died for our sins, why do people still do bad things? Or why do we have Muslims in this world, or Jews, or, you know? Every religion has its own thing, and at the end of the day, it's just going to be a constant battle between religions. So that's why I'm just like, I believe in evolution. That's me. You know, what if we've evolved to reincarnate and stuff, you know? Reincarnation just sounds the most realistic. You know, because there's no religion where it's just like, you know, we die, we just die, we rot in the ground. You know, that's personally... You know, I believe there is a place, you know, I believe in spirits and stuff like that. And I just find that when we go into the ground, our spirit is released into the atmosphere, and there is a place for them to go. And if they have unfinished business, they will roam about on Earth until that unfinished business is done. So basically, I believe in ghosts and spirits, stuff like that. Uh, I have loads of books on spiritual creatures and stuff like that, and how you can find out your own spiritual creature. and. Um, you know, it's it's great. I'm still trying to find out mine because three different books have told me two different animals. I'm either a dragon or a panda. Either way, it's cool. I love both of them. Um, I remember I read one. It can determine eye colour. You scan your eye and it tells you you're a animal. Apparently, I can be an owl that way, but I didn't trust that way because it, that came up with a few people. So, yeah. But. Yeah, so religion that I would pick. Buddhism. Bud. Bud, 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 or anything like that. I respect you if you have a religion. It's just, to me personally, I don't have one. So, you believe what you want to believe. I don't want to cause a big religious debate. Uh, why is an owl my favourite animal? Well, most people have t said to me, Oh yeah, he likes an owl because of Owl City. Before I even found out that Owl City existed, I found a barn owl when I went on this school trip and I just loved it. I was in like year four? Not sure what grade that'll be in America or Canada or where in this world. But I know for sure that I love owls. They're just beautiful creatures. I love the way that they soar through the air and stuff like that. Like I love the touch of their feathers as well. I don't know, they're just a really awesome animal and how they can, you know, see in the dark and all that sort of stuff. It's just great how they hunt their prey as well. Um, I know there are plenty of other animals out there, but I mean, as you know, I love pandas and penguins, you know, they're cool. I just think they're adorable. But then again, if it was a household pet I would pick, it would have to be a husky. I love huskies, they're just so cute. Um, or a kitten, you know. I'm just a massive animal lover, so yeah. Owl is just my favorite animal, just because it is. Uh, the next question was, uh, do I like the new Pokemon X and Y? If so, which one would I pick X or Y? I'm gonna be honest, X looks a bit camp. That's more the girly side to Pokemon, I guess, because that one's kind of like the fairy Pokemon, you know, it's that, ooh, magical. And, uh, you know, that's good, you know, it's a, it's a good Pokemon, you know, I do like it. And, uh, but then there's Y, the Pokemon of Destruction. 
That's more my side. Look, well, because when you think about it, you'll be saving the world if you stop the Pokemon destruction. Whereas the one with fairies, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? So I'll probably pick Y, just because it's it looks better, I guess. It's got that kind of dark side to it, which is good. But with that one, it looks all you know, goody two shoes and stuff with X. That is, and I don't know. I want both, you know, because if you pick both, there's a different storyline for each. So I guess, yeah. If if I did play X, though, I will probably be the woman character. Uh, this last question was from someone who I'm very close to and who knows me very well. And uh, if I had to pick a favourite Pokemon game out of every single one that's been released, which one would it be and why? Personally, well, to me, the very, very first Game Boy Colour game, Heart Gold, like that first edition game, Heart not our oh gold, that's the, that's the modern one. I'm stupid. Um, gold because it. I love the, the black and white detail, I guess, because it's just black and white. It looks a bit green, it's kind of a tinted green sort of thing. You know, it's, it's just awesome. You know, that's old school. Without that game, Pokemon wouldn't even exist. And also, that was the first game that I discovered Cyndaquil, and Cyndaquil was my best best Pokemon on my party, it was level 90 by the time I finished it, and bearing in mind I was like, I'm not sure how old I was, I think it was like, four or five when I started, and you know, I've been collecting them since then, uh, sadly, I lost it, if any of you have a gold out there, send it to me, please. I love you forever if you do. And no joke, I would legit pay you. Um, like, oh, because I see it online now for like £500. I'm just like, wow. That's amazing. But yeah, so Pokemon Gold for me. Uh, and Cyndaquil for sure. That's That was the highlight of my entire Pokemon history. It was just like, I did do it, but. And the way that I did it. It didn't walk around with you in gold, did it? I think it did. Yeah, Pokemon could walk around with you on some areas of the map. And it was really good when I had the Typhlosion. Uh, when it evolved into a Quay Lava though, that was, that was amazing as well. That's like a trip down memory lane, thinking of that. So thank you for who sent that question in. And uh, yeah. As I said before at the start of the video, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and... You know, please, you know, like, subscribe, contact me at the Binky Blob below, comment, you know, do whatever, okay? Just a little bit less of that hate. No one likes a bit of hate. Only messing. If you want to hate, hate. <laughs> um, I noticed uh, a lot of people are liking me doing more vlogs. Apparently, I'm getting more confident with myself. Personally, I still feel I'm being a bit awkward, and I've, been, I've said personally a lot in this Personally, vlog. now my word of the day. Okay, yeah, that, that is official, my word of the day. Um, but anyway, I really hope you like this vlog. Um, as I said, new video every Sunday. 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 Yeah, so just keep that in mind. Sunday, okay? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Curly loves his music on a Sunday. Maybe when I'm a bit more flexible, um, I'll be able to, you know, post it more frequently. Uh, I have gone up by another four subscribers. I know compared to the likes of PewDiePie and Syndicate and the RPG Minx and um, I don't think a YouTube to watch. There's, there's Kate. I forgot her YouTube name. That's how much of a fan I am. Uh, Syndicate's X. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you know, compared to them, not much at all, but to me it is a massive amount of support and it shows that you do like what I'm putting up and so thanks for all of your wonderful support and all the questions that you sent in. I'm sorry if yours didn't get read out, it's always next time, just send it in 
to me if you want on Twitter with the hashtag CLHM Q and A, like with the and symbol of Q and A. So, or if you want, you can just message me on Twitter or message me on Kick, Scene Kids, Skype, um, whatever. Just do it. Okay, just send me a message on here if you want, or in the comments below. It means a lot with what you're doing. Uh, keep being awesome, guys, and uh, thank you. <laughs>